I'm going to create a short animation to show how to have a camera follow a path and use a single target and I'm going to move the target to some different uh, sites along the route that the camera is going to follow using keyframing. So first thing we want to do, we'll go ahead and place a camera. So we'll create an animation camera. And I've got the, the cell scale set to a thousand here. So I just want to have it big enough that I can see it relative to the other things in the view. So you'll have to adjust that for your scene. I'll just call this my camera. And then I want to have that camera follow a path. So we'll use the define actor path tool. We'll take that camera that I just created and I'll select this B spline path. And I'm going to go 1200 frames, constant velocity, OK. And then I need to turn the camera on. So we script the camera. So we say, my camera gets turned on at frame zero. Now, if you want to see this, you can bring up the preview tool. And I'll preview in view number two. So now if I move the scrub bar, you can see that I'm flying around the city model here and then I end up back over here at the fountain in the end. So what I really want to do is I want to look at, there's a fountain right here in this view. So if I zoom in here right in front, that's right there. So we'll create a target and I'm going to just let it snap right there to the fountain. Same sort of thing. I'll call this my target and I only need the one target I want to move it with keyframes. So then the next order of business is to create the keyframes of our target. So let's do this. So I bring up the keyframe dialog. I'm going to select, I'll just get the selector tool. And once you have the target selected, you could just keep it selected. So if I go here until I, let me go in a little closer. So grab it there. So now my target's selected and I click this create button. And I'm going to name the keyframes based on their location. So I'm going to create one there, call it Fountain. So now what I want to do is I'm going to move that target. So we want to move it, not copy it. We want to move it. And I'm going to move it from here. And I'll put it over here on top of my building. And then I think I'll move it down a bit. So we'll just rotate the compass and... I'll turn off the AccuSnap and I'll move it down say right about there and I'll create one for it and I'm going to call that one high rise. So now I want to move it from the high rise. So we want to move it from where its current location is. Go in here actually and grab it from here. So I'm going to move it again and I'll Turn this back on, go back to move. So from the center of this, the other thing that I want to see is this lighthouse and I know that I've got it out here. I go around the lighthouse. So I'll just snap to the top of the lighthouse right about there. And I'll create one for it. Call it lighthouse. So I'm going to start out with this in the fountain position so I can just click freeze and it'll move the move back to the original location so you can see it's back here in the fountain. So the next thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and script that target. So we'll go to the script target tool. Starting at frame zero, we're going to look at this thing the whole time. So we're going to use the camera and we're going to look at the target and we enter a data point and that's in the script. So if we were to go preview this now in view two, you can see that I'm focused on the fountain for the entire animation. So that's really not what I want either. But so in the beginning of the movie, I might scrub up to here somewhere and I could set this in motion about that frame. So let's go ahead and bring up the animation producer to do the scripting. So you go to the keyframes. 
and I'm going to go ahead and add another point of entry here. So I'm going to say at 131, I'm still at the fountain. And then I'll move this out a bit. And I'll say whenever I get maybe over here, I want to be looking instead at the high rise. So I'll go ahead and script the high rise. And you'll see that it'll actually occur at that same point in time. Now, if I back up, you can see that that sets my target into motion as I come around the high rise. I'm looking at the high rise. So when I get back over here somewhere, I could go ahead and maybe send that guy back to the fountain. So I'll script an entry there at that point, and I'm going to be back at the fountain. So you can kind of see where the target goes. It brings the camera over here. Now I'm kind of looking back over there. And I'm okay with that till I get out here. So maybe I'll add another fountain entry. So I'll script one here at that point in time. And then whenever I get, say, out here, I definitely want to be, by the time I get out here, I want to be looking at the lighthouse. So let's script that one to occur there. So now you can kind of see that this is going to cause me to pan out to the lighthouse. I'm going to stay on the lighthouse until mm, right about there. I'll go ahead and add another one in. That basically makes sure that it stays put that number of frames. And then as I come around the lighthouse, I'm going to send this hauling really quickly over to the fountain. I want to bring the focus back straight ahead. So I'll just put a fountain one in here and say OK we can see how this happens so you can see that I'm focused and then I kind of go the other way and maybe uh, that occurs a little too quick so let's just go in here and I'm gonna move the fountain keyframe that last one that I put in I'm gonna move this out a little bit let's just drag it out to here so it's not as fast then you can kind of see what that did and I could move it even further out so we could go in here and grab the fountain keyframe at this point and move it out even more scrub around there we go so let's look at the, the script now. And you can see where they occur. So whenever I move this, the fountain keyframe, you can see it changing here. Let's go. Sorry, I'm a little bit real estate challenged trying to work at 1280 by 720. So you can see this changing. So it's pretty easy. You want to move something. And if you wanted to put an extra stop, you can hold a control and move it out and you would have a pause. So there you have it. That's uh, I think that's really straightforward and it's uh, a good method. Uh, no jerky motion. And we'll go back to the preview tool. And we'll let it just preview so you can see in wireframe. So your camera and your target are construction geometry. So is the path. I've made that a construction element. So when you render your animation, you can turn off construction. So you're not actually rendering those objects. So under 10 minutes, all set up, ready to go. Uh, pretty straightforward. Enjoy.